Hmm. A year of birth. Bit creepy, but my year of birth? Could it be a date? Four numbers that could equal a date. Personal dates. 1998, she won the award for the fastest runner out of school. Was always bragged about it whenever we'd go to walks. More personal. She was always bullied as a child, but 2006 was the year she started growing. Was no longer the butt of the joke, as she could crush them all with her hands. It sort of resembled a masculine builder's hands who had spent 20 to 30 years doing finger push-ups, wearing gold rings, just in case the police came to arrest her. She could use the jewelry as bail. Such is the life of a pimp with a strong handshake. Maybe not personal, but historical. She's in her third year of university studying history, so thrilled by the goings on in the past that she was more excited to see the sights than model. What if it's a combination of the two? Her father is a priest, her mother is a teacher, and they first met in 1989 after killing one another during a reenactment of the Battle of Waterloo, which happened in 1815. 1815 is also the date in which her favourite necklace was made. Her dad bought said necklace along with a Rubik's Cube after calling me for an opinion. That call lasted 12 minutes and 14 seconds, which is also the same amount of time that it took Kate to figure out the Rubik's Cube, even though I changed all the colours around, which should have rendered it impossible. The Rubik's Cube was bought along with the necklace by her dad during a charity sale at a church near Waterloo Station. The Rubik's Cube was £6.99 and the necklace £12.90 together costing a total of £19.89. Add that with how old Kate was when she won the award for the fastest runner, and you get... Oh. Bollocks. <laughs>